Hi, um, I'm here to talk today to you about lip enhancements. If you follow me on social media, you may or may not know that I recently got um, lip enhancement. Um, I was completely open about it, I made no secret about it, so because of that, obviously quite a lot of people had some questions, they, they asked me lots of different things. Some of the questions became quite samey, quite repetitive, and I started to think that maybe it would just be best if I made a little video and just spoke about my experience, answered some of the questions and hopefully put everyone's mind at ease about the procedure itself. My friend Neil's here, he's helping me film it so hopefully it'll look a bit more professional than my other videos. <laughs> um, I, I, do, I, just, I just want to say that before we start, um, I completely chose to do this video off my own back and any, anything I say here is completely a mixture of my own opinions and the advice that I was given by my specific surgeon. It's really important that you take on board the aftercare advice you're given and the advice in general that you are given by the surgeon that you see. Um, as much as I can try and tell you my experience and hopefully it can help you in many different ways, it's really essential that you listen to the advice because every procedure is different, every technique is different. People use different products and all of these factors come into play. So please listen, please take it on board and just be safe and look after yourself. Um, I went to Aid Refined Cosmetics who are based in Glasgow City Centre. I went to a registered nurse called Michelle McLean. She's absolutely amazing. I loved her. I chose this surgery for a number of different reasons, one being they are one of the few in Glasgow who are entirely ran by registered doctors and nurses. That alone was reassuring to me. Um, I know the law is changing anyway, but in the past all, all different types of people were able to do it. It doesn't mean they're not good, but I just like the reassurance of the people being um, properly registered to do this procedure. I done extensive research on this. I didn't want to just pick anyone. So I looked at different companies, I looked at different before and after photos, I looked at different things that people had to say about them. And I also looked at people I knew, a lot of people I know have got different things done and eventually I chose Aid Refined. Um, my friend had been there, her lips are fantastic. They're so natural. You would never know. You would never know um, without a before and after picture. Um, she just looks really, really great, really natural and no problems afterwards. So with all that in mind, I decided to go and speak to them. They were really, really helpful. They took you through the whole procedure. They spoke to you about everything, answered any questions and made me feel completely at ease. And that was a big, big factor for me as well. I chose to go for one mil to begin with. Um, a lot of people only go for half, but... From what I can see, most of the time people end up regretting that. Um, it sounds like it's going to be a lot. It isn't. It's not a hugely noticeable difference. It does depend on your lips. Again, everyone is different. They have different needs. But I just felt I wanted to go for the full mill. I didn't think it would be too much. Actually, after two weeks, I went back for another half of a mill. <laughs> um, it was because I just felt I hadn't quite achieved the look that I was going for. Um, another half I felt would get me there. And I was really glad if it was exactly the right decision and it was assisted by the surgeon herself. She gave me great advice. She didn't want me to go too far. She wasn't pushing me for for taking more than what I should. I got injected with Juvederm, which is a hyaluronic acid dermal filler. It's said to be as safe as a filler can be because our body actually produces this acid. So... It blends in and it's said to be more natural and with less risk. But in saying that, there are risks with everything, as we know. Um, around between 1 and 3% of people will be allergic to Juvederm. It's something you've got to take into account if you're going to go for this procedure. If you are allergic to it, you can go into anaphylactic shock which is obviously not very good at all, but you will stay in the surgery after your procedure and your surgeon will be trained in how to cope if that happens. Some people just take adverse effects in general, which they can cope with. They give you steroids, which will help you. Um, and if you really, really don't like how it's turned out, 
the fillers themselves, they can be reversed, so you don't have to panic about feeling stuck. Your lips should return completely to normal if you've went to a registered nurse or someone who's very good at their job. So um, I'm going to move on to some of the questions that people have asked me. As I said, they're quite standard. I don't think there's anything um, too complicated. If there are any questions I haven't answered today, please just leave them in the comments box and I'll try and answer everyone as best I can. Again, it's all my own opinions and my own experience. The main one that everyone was asking me was, was it painful? Now, I was given numbing cream on my lips beforehand, so it did, I suppose it does really, really help, but there was still, I could still feel some pain. It wasn't terrible, it wasn't awful, it was kind of scratchy, you could feel it was there, I mean, it's still your lips, you're still your skin. It, my eyes did water, but I don't think that was through pain, I think it's just because of where it is. Um, I know when I got my nose pierced, my eyes watered, and I think it's just part of it. It, it was more scratchy than socially painful. It's fine. Um, people often ask about the bruising and swelling that you get. I did, I did swell up. I did bruise. People say that it changes from very person to person. Um, if you fall your aftercare properly, it can help that. Uh, the first time I got it done, I had blood spots, I had some bruising, um, this went down really quickly. The thing that I'm going to talk about though is uh, I didn't listen to my aftercare on my second top up, not on purpose, I think I just became relaxed and that was a mistake. I didn't listen to what they had to say to me completely. So the first time I got it done, I listened, I was told to not wear lipstick for 24 hours, I was told to not take ibuprofen or aspirin, not eat spicy food not drink alcohol, not smoke, I followed it completely and the swelling wasn't bad at all, healed really well within a few days, they looked pretty much back to normal. When I got my top up, this went out my head, it was the spicy food, I ate really really spicy noodles without thinking and my lips just went crazy, <laughs> they swelled up so much I was completely panicking, I thought there was something wrong, um, I didn't know what to do, I just had to muscle through it. I looked ridiculous for a couple of days but this is why it's so important that you listen to what they've got to tell you. If you do listen to what they've got to tell you the next day you'll be able to wear lipstick and although your lips will look bigger it won't be awful. There will be bruising but nothing that, that a good lipstick can't handle and no one will notice too much other than you'll notice yourself that your lips do look a lot bigger. The swelling does go down after a few days. It's not horrific. You will notice that maybe some bits are more swollen than others. That's just part of it. Don't panic. When you first get it done, you can feel some little lumps in your lips. That's just part of it. However, this is why you need to go to a good surgeon. If you go to a crap surgeon, they don't know how to administrate it properly. And I've seen so many horrible stories with girls who have ended up with lumps in their lips, bumps, they can't get rid of them. I've seen videos of girls and they have like lines of Juvederm that have just trapped in their lips. If you go to someone who isn't trained in this, not just for the botch job, but I've seen people with sores, they've had to go to the hospital, it's horrible. Um, I just don't think it's worth it for saving a minuscule amount of money when it's something on your face. It's really, really important that you look at this properly and think, is it really worth 20 quid? if you're going to end up with lumpy, bumpy, horrific lips for the rest of your life. <laughs> Whilst um, your lips do seem a lot better after a few days, they do recommend it takes around two weeks for them to fully heal. Although you think that they're totally fine, I would agree with that. After the few days, the swelling went away, the bruising was fading and they felt really good. But in looking back, they weren't fully like my lips. I would say after the two weeks they start to really soften, they merge with your lips itself, you don't really feel any of the injections anymore and after that they just, they feel like they're part of your own lips and like they were always like that which is really really nice, that's if they are done properly of course. Um, my surgeon advised that after the first 24 hours that I was allowed to massage my lips to get some of the lumps and bumps out. Again, I read loads of conflicting information about this on the internet, so I would say always listen to what your surgeon has to say, but it did really help me, and it, it felt really good too, <laughs> like it just, it felt like it was plumping them up a little bit better, and just making them feel a bit more like 
my own lips, which was nice. Um, after two weeks, you don't have to keep doing that, it, but it does feel good. It makes them feel like they're revived a little bit, which I really liked. So now we are eight weeks later from when I had the procedure done. Um, it's been quite a while since I had any, I'd say, like bruising or any noticeable differences from what would be natural lips. Most of my friends um, say they can't really notice that I've had anything done in the sense of it doesn't look fake and it's not over the top, it's not too noticeable. No one's ever commented that I look like I have my lips done, which is really nice. I think that's something that people really worry about, whether it's going to look fake or whether you're going to be left with what people say is duck face, um, drinks horrible. So I feel like I made I made a great choice with not only getting the procedure done, but where I went to go. Um, I've no regrets about it at all, and I definitely will go back. And I think it's not just because I was brave enough to try it, but I do think where you're going to go is really essential to that experience. So please look into it before you do it. Just because I've had it done doesn't mean that everyone should go and get it done anywhere they want to. Please look into it. Do your research properly. Be patient. If you can't afford a good surgeon just now, it doesn't matter. Don't do it just now and then because it's not worth it. You're not going to look as good. You're not going to look great. You're going to look fake. And you're not going to you're not going to like it as much as what you could have which is always a big factor for me so i think i answered most of the things that people really asked me overall um i may not have covered some things i'm really, really sorry if i haven't if you've got anything else to ask please ask me if you've got any worries just send me a message i really don't mind i just hope that I've put some people's minds at ease or encourage people because I know when people want to do something like this, there's always a bit of negative feedback. Don't do this, don't do this. If you want to do it, do it, but just do it properly. Um, don't rush into it, but also don't be put off because other people have weird opinions. People get really negative and they get their back up about um, procedures like this, but I don't think they should. I think they're getting better all the time and they're not like, People, people just think of the extreme when they think of these things and it doesn't have to be extreme. It can be extreme if you want it to be, if that's what you're going for, but that's the beauty of it. Everyone's different. Everyone wants to achieve different things. Just do what you want to do. Again, if you want to speak to me about it, that's amazing. If you want to find some more information about the surgery I went to, I can put the address up. Just let me know. Um, I would like your feedback so let me know if you enjoyed this video I'm sorry for talking for ages as always <laughs> and thank you and I'll speak to you soon